Get on your job, nigga. Motivation. Haters better get on your job. Tell them. Haters get on your job, nigga. It's motivation. Suck a nigga. Get on your job. Welcome to the BBC Podcast. Tapping in with Tunchi again. Today, we're going to go over a couple things. Um, make sure to look at the community role. We got a lot of posts coming in with new incoming interviews and everything. Uh, new merch and everything's on the merchandise. And today, taking it to Carolina. And uh, we're going to go ahead and introduce some missus. Hi, I'm Star. I'm from North Carolina. Um, I'm and what is it you do for your profession? Um, so what I do is I run a business, I sell lashes, and that's I'm a full time college student as well. So between those two and also working another job, that's pretty much what I do. Okay. Um, how long have you been doing it? Um, I started back in January. In January? Mm-hmm. Like... So this year. My first year, yeah. And how old are you? I'm 21. So what made you just want to do your own little side business at a young age? Um, I've always been into business, and I was inspired by Gina Wada. Um, My dad, he has his own business as well, so I was really inspired. I was just, like, around it, so I just kind of knew, like, that's eventually what I was being into doing. When I was 19, I had a clothing line, and right. that okay. kind of inspired it, really. Okay. Mm-hmm. Are you, you still doing that also? Or? Mm-mm. I just switched to beauty because I love beauty more. I mean, there's always a market for it. Women are always uh, touching themselves up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so um, right now, with the business and everything you got going on right now, are you currently dating right now? or? Um, no, my, I like making money. <laughs> <laughs> Focusing on yourself? Yeah. Independent, huh? Yeah. So, what is it you're doing right now? Like, guys trying to get your time and talk to you and stuff like that. Are you curving them or are you just giving them excuses? You're working on me? Like, what's the. Yeah, I tell them I'm not ready for anything. Or, like, you know, I still keep I keep my options open. That's the truth. But, like, I always tell them, like, you know, I'm not rushing into anything. I'm focused on me right now. Okay. I mean, because everyone is. Being saying yeah. that you got uh, options open, you still taking dates, going on dates here and there. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, since nobody is filling in the role, what is it? What's going to take? Nick, give me three things. It's going to get somebody to what features they got to have to take you off the market. Um, one thing for sure, I'm very bad ambitious because that's I love an ambitious man. Um, two. I would say personality wise, because everyone can have the world, but like if they attitudes and mentality is not where it's at, because mm. everyone's different, I, it's just a no for me. So like their personality and their mentality has to be a one, mm-hmm. and they have to be fun. That's the third one. Like I love to have fun. I like to go out. I'm outgoing person. I'm not a house bitch at all. <laughs> so you say um, fun? You mean like go out and like kind of give you an experience, share something with you? Yeah, I like quality time. Okay. Quality mm-hmm. time as in out doing something or just quality time sitting at the house watching TV? Out doing something, going on walks, like that's my quality time. It doesn't really have to spend a lot of money to, you know, do too much. Just out doing stuff. Okay. Speaking of, speaking of the money, um, what are the like metric um, requirements, like how much money does he have to make to be able to be with you? What's minimum? I'm 21, I know. <laughs> I mean like- hey, Everybody gotta have standards, it don't matter. Age, like, if you're 20, if you like, if you're like 28 and you're making what I would be making, at 21, it's not gonna work. Cause I'm like, what are you <laughs> doing with your life? Okay. But you know, if you, I feel like 25 is a cute age. I would say like 50K to 100, to making like six figures. Like I like 70K to 100. Okay. Figures, so 70, 70 to 100. Yeah. Okay. So if you don't make that, but he's still ambitious and got a good personality and whatever he does, make he shares it with you, gives you experience and stuff like that. Can he make uh, 
forty k and still be qualified? That's how old he is. Saying he's a, let's say you twenty one, he's a twenty five. I would say no. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So he's still gonna meet that that hundred k mark. Yeah, between seventy k to hundred k, because we gotta be able to take care of a family. Okay. Speaking of family, mm-hmm. do you, you looking forward to any kids? Do you want kids? Yes, I want two boys. I really want to be an all boy mom. All boy mom. So. <laughs> Yeah. You a you a female athlete or what? Hmm? I said you're a female athlete. You into sports? Mm-mm, but no, like my family, um, my cousin Sheila, she's a basketball player. My brother, he's a basketball player. And I just love it. So I love the sport. Okay. So you love the sport. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So. I'm going to be an athlete. I'm going to be in sports. Okay. Being um, right now. You know, data market ain't nobody really saying hi, hello when you go into the gas station and grocery store. It's like, how are mostly men approaching you right now? Oh, um, they're, they be, they're the worst at gas stations. <laughs> <laughs> so you say in they're person? The they're the worst. Like, yeah, the boys at the gas stations are worse than everywhere else. Like, they will, I don't like it because they come to my car. Like, I don't have tinted windows. Mm-hmm. So, like, they look out in my window. I'm just like, you might, I don't like that. So they'll just be like, hey, like, why are you pumping your own gas? Like, where's your man? Um, <laughs> and then be on the man. You know, like, and then, like, sometimes I'll lie and be like, oh, I got a boyfriend, I got a man. No, I'm darn well, I ain't got one. And he'll be like, um, where is he? And they just they keep going. They just keep going. <laughs> so, <yeah. Okay. laughs> uh, give me uh, two worst pickup lines you've been hearing you won't, that guys shouldn't say so that way our guys know what not to say. Hmm, pick up lines. Pick up lines are so corny. Yeah, what are the two worst ones? You'd be like, man, do not do not say this. And you hear it all the time. It's real typical. Something that I hear all the time. And I gotta think about that one. Um It's always saying pretty much bringing up bringing up your beauty, saying something about your shoes, your nails, like what like what is it? Oh, okay. So all right, so I go by Star, right? Mm-hmm. And my middle name's Star. And because my first name, everyone can't really get it together. It's Shekinah, but. So I just let my name star. And they'll be like, oh, I'll make you a star. And then I'll like that because <laughs> they'll be like, you're my star. I'll make you a star. And I'm just like, really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Man. Okay. Man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's the heart emo- like the heart eyes emoji. Heart eyes emoji. Like what that? what am I supposed to say to that? <laughs> like I'm gonna just heart it and keep it going, like yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's the uh, worst date you ever been on? Like you already knew, like halfway through the date, like man, I I, I wanna leave or this dude definitely ain't getting called back. I was on sorry, so I went to top off. And I found that he had a girlfriend on. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, are you serious? What so, made, yeah, like. What made you think that? He told me. Like, oh, he, he told like, you. He thought I, like, straight up, he thought I was just going to be a side chick. Like, oh, I didn't like shit. Yeah, I didn't like that at all. Mm. So, Midway into the day? Hmm? Midway into the day, he just said, oh, yeah, hey, uh, I got a girl? Yeah. Like, oh, I got a girlfriend, and yeah. Damn. Okay. That was the worst. Okay, yeah, no, that's not going <laughs> So how'd you, get, how'd you get out of that one? What'd you tell them? Well, that's just not me. Like, I want way more than that. I'm not going to be playing that role. And especially with the whole situation shift and the casual, like, dating nowadays, like, the casual sex and all that, it's mm-hmm. like, I don't want to get caught up in all that. And me, I catch feelings, so... I'm a love girl, so uh-uh, it's not gonna work. I'm gonna I'm gonna be one of the main, and that's not gonna work. Okay. <laughs> so speaking of that, how you saying like the new culture is all about the hookup games and just keeping it flowing and just doing what you want to do? Like, would you say mm-hmm. it's important for a woman to keep her body count down, or body count don't matter? I would say so, yeah, because I mean, keep the pussy good. 
you know, because like too much is mm-mm, you're gonna be looking crazy. But give me your number. What's me personally? I feel like everyone goes through a phase too. Mm. So just like guys, like guys going crazy could be fifty women, and another guy's crazy is five women. So I don't know. With females, I feel like yeah, we should like keep it together. Well, give me a, for, a for a female. What what number is too high? It's just like yeah, this, now this chick is for the streets. Um, I would say ten. Ten? No more than ten? Yeah. Okay. Most commonly, right now, how would you answer it? girls between eighteen to twenty-five? What is their average body count, though? Judging off of People you know, people you've been around, people you went to school with. Hmm. I don't. I don't hang with hoes. Like, oh man, my I, get, friends. I, I get you, but like, we gotta. Yeah. What's, a, what's a ballpark figure? Would, like, what are you thinking? I would say the ballpark number is twenty-five. About twenty-five. Yeah. Okay. Uh, quality wise um, what do you think it takes for a woman to get a man to commit that's crazy um give me three things to get a man to, to, get a man to commit yeah, get three, to me, give me three or things. To uh, for oh, well, obviously you know I mean women control who's going to be able to get sex and who's going to be able to take it down and men are the ones that commit before or after they have sex. So they're the ones that give the relationship and further on give the rings and proposal, you know what I'm saying, all the way down the line, make it traditional. So mm-hmm. how do the women convince the men to stop shopping the market and that she's the right one? And and outside, don't use no qualities of cooking, cleaning, and no sex. What are the qualities? Because every woman so can like do that. How- a man don't count yeah so like yeah. how treating him don't count like massages and that is. i mean all, i mean all that's that's cool like 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 what is it that you, that you get the man to be like man look i'm different from all these other women like this is like obviously you know oh. like i said like the whole cooking cleaning type thing and the sex thing every woman can do that so that's not different like what what could, mm-hmm. what is it that a woman needs to bring to the table to get a man to commit Me personally, it would just be me. Like every girl is different, so they just how they are. Can just I don't know. Three things outside of that, because that's what I feel like that's what everybody makes it about. Like, yeah, I mean, that's, basically. Yeah. But so that's why you got a lot of men cheating because they want to taste this food. They want to taste this food. Everybody yeah. can do the same thing. So what is it? What's different? Like, like what gets what gets the man to be locked in? We're going to have to go back to that question. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put it to the end. I'll let you think on that. Like, that was tricky. Yeah, because I feel like that's what everybody, at least for my age right now, my age bracket at 21, that's what everybody makes it about. So it's like, to be different, I would just say, it would just go back to the quality as a woman, like just your loyalty. Okay. I'm not a lot of people loyal. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, loyalty. Um, communication. Not everybody can communicate. Yeah, that's right. And okay. you got one more. Let's see. Let's see another one. Just you as a person, like, what's your character? Like, everybody don't have good character. So okay. a good, a good set of values and morals. Okay. Not everybody has that. Okay. Yeah. So you did good, better than other women that have been on my show. <laughs> they older. Than me. Um, I did that. <laughs> that's good. Speaks speaks a lot about your background. That's good. All right. Let's see. You spoke on uh, not being the side chick. Out of one one out of five girls nowadays, how many girls don't care to be the side chick or purposely trying to steal somebody by somebody else's man? Yeah, me personally, that's crazy. And, like, for someone to do that, it's just, like, I know I wouldn't want somebody to do that to me. 
So, like, if you could do that and, like, be okay with that and sleep at night, I just, I can't look at that person like that. I don't know. I just look at you like, I don't know. I don't think that's okay. But I feel like girls are being okay with being a side chick because of how men are. Like, some men are. Mm. They just, I don't know. They just wouldn't, wouldn't mind doing that, competing. And it's in music and everything, so everyone thinks it's cool. Yeah, so yeah. everybody want to be the baddest, but it's like it's dumb to me. It's just dumb. Like, don't you think that? Don't, don't you think that since everybody wants to be the baddest, that the competition that everybody's just competing with everybody? When they say a lot of women say that I don't compete, but you actually are competing. Everybody yeah, make sure. Really compete. Everybody make sure that they make yeah. it their own point. They outfit better than their homegirls when they go out. That they look good. You know what I'm saying? To be able to attract the, the well, best man. Yeah, I would say in certain certain aspects, I know people I hang out, we don't really do that. We like to just all look good. But as far as like the whole, what are you doing? Like when you talk to somebody else's man, you know that. Mm. Yeah, that's competing. So yeah. what would you say out of out of five girls, how many girls are are okay with the most commonly nowadays? Okay. Yeah, okay with talking to some talking to somebody else's man. You say like I tell my in general. Yeah, 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 like all in general. It's a very, I don't know, I feel like between everybody, it's a lot of percentage. Like, I would say probably 70%. 70%? Yeah, 70%. Yeah. Are they okay 70. with being a side chick? Hmm. Yeah, because a lot of people even play a side chick and don't even know they're playing it, too. But how many are okay with it, part. though? How many are okay with knowing yeah, that they have Yeah, I would say 70%. 70%? Okay. Yeah. I say I hope for the girls out there. <laughs> okay so nowadays are you you ever been on any dating apps been on tinder or anything like that yeah i have some scary <laughs> <laughs> okay i was just, just talking to my dad about that <laughs> uh, cover that real quick let me t- let me touch up on these dating apps you got yeah. let's say 20 dudes they ain't they ain't your profile that come across your way how many do you swipe right on? How many do you swipe left on? Like, hell no. Out of 20. Um, it's, I have a certain type, so it's a lot of left. I mean, like, every, I mean, every woman. Look. Every woman got their own type. That's that's the whole point of the app. I'm swiping a lot. It's a lot of swiping. So I, out, of, out of 20, how many are you going to get the, okay, maybe you tuck them away and check on them later? Three. Three? Damn. I feel like, because yeah, if you swipe right, he's going to hit you up, and then you have to deal with Three boys in your phone. So, mm, I get you. I just, yeah, like that's dope. That's get crazy. You start swiping right away, and you see how many people on the phone, and how you gonna keep up with all that? Like, I feel like <laughs> I get you. dating was. But how many? Yeah. How many? How many? How many qualify though? Like out of the so you say only three out of twenty. Like all the other dudes, but they don't. They don't look good. They profile not right. They're not tall enough. Or like, what is it? Um, the ones that I probably either they just look like they lifestyle, you can just tell the lifestyle they live in by the pictures they take. Mm. So really tell, just tell by lifestyle. So like, yeah, if you post some guns and leave, it's on like, but <laughs> okay. like, you know, it's just that, mm. that's one thing I look at for, so yeah. Okay. So is yeah. your, is your type more, you more for the business type man? Like he, he got his own shit together. He don't have to be dressed in a business suit, but he about his business. Mm-hmm. He a casual guy. Or are you about like the, the thug rapper type, like, trying to be in the streets looking like hard, like he hard type. What's your type? Yeah, I had to recently change my type of dudes because I was into those street hard dudes. Like, you know, I was really into them mm-hmm. at one point. But I realized what I wanted in life, I it, it just required a different man. Like, okay. I can't, you can't do that. You can't take the hood out of a, you just can't take the street <laughs> out of a street. Uh, <laughs> well, really? But yeah, like business Real quick, real they don't quick. gotta be in a suit and tie. Yeah, like you could dress casual and still like look not street like pants and all that. No, but like you could still like, like look good and like I don't know how to explain it. You still look good. You still have swag and still have style. Look good. Yeah, you still have swag and look okay. good. Put it together like mm-hmm, that's okay. my type. Okay. So tell me real briefly what about the um, bad experience with the bad boy? What made you like wake up and be like, yeah, nah, nah, nah this ain't it for me. It started getting too deep. Like, <laughs> you, they'll, uh uh-uh, like, okay, so I would say, I'm not going to get too deep into it, yeah, but. just briefly, okay. 
Yeah, like some of them don't have boundaries and they know the type of people I am. I never even like grew up around it. So that's why I knew like this is not for me because I don't even know what I was getting into half of the time. And then things will happen with them. And you know, if you're a guy, if you're dating a guy and they know, and the police know your name, they're going to come to you with a question. Mm-hmm. Whether if you have nothing to do with it or not. So it's like that, I didn't want to be around that. I'm not into getting in trouble. I'm a goodie two shoes. So like, I don't know how to handle all that pressure. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, it's just not a safe environment for me. It's just not, I just don't, girls can get shot up. Like I have heard stories about people that I was, I was close to mm-hmm. die because they mm-hmm. wanted to be riding with them. on plays with guys and it's like that's dangerous like you don't know who he got beef with can't go out anywhere because he got beef with everybody or he's scared like you just don't know how to um be around people without getting altercations and stuff like so it's just that stuff i don't like because i'm out like i said i'm an outlaw girl so like i'm not trying to be in the house because you you don't know how to act right or yeah. you can't you just can't get it together or something. But, okay, yeah. okay. I get you. So being the crossfire mm-hmm. taking pretty much catching somebody else's heat just because you associated with them. Yeah, basically, yeah. Okay, That's okay. what was happening. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, okay. So how long have you been single now? Um, I've been single for I would say seven months. Seven months. Yeah. Oh, seven months? Okay. Seven months, yeah. So since then, have you had a potential, but you feel like it's too soon? Mm, I feel like when you're, I was going through the healing phase of not talking to anybody, ignoring everybody. Mm -hmm. And then guys would come along. And I had a, I I guess you could say I had one potential, probably out of all of them. Because mm-hmm. like you know, she's trying to meet that person, and it and it's weird. It happens. It happens out of nowhere, mm-hmm. and like they'll have the same mindset as you and things like that. So yeah, I would say one potential out of like a lot. How come that? How come that didn't go down? You said because it didn't happen. Because it didn't happen. Yeah. How come? How, why didn't it happen? I know it's still happening. Oh, it's still happening. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Shout out to him. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. Okay, so back on the Tinder thing, tell me what's your worst experience on a dating app? Some weirdo, thirsty guy, sending wrong pics. What's the experience that you had? Yeah. I would say I don't smoke. So I was Physical? Yeah, like you, you know, like so I guess people think the grabbing the throat is cute. It's cute when, like, you know, you with you know them, and you with them, yeah, or whatever. With them, with them. Yeah. But I don't know you, so like, please don't touch me. <laughs> like, uh uh-uh. uh. Okay. But yeah. So right now, in the dating world, would you say, would you prefer to meet somebody online, in person, or have somebody refer you, like cousin? friend, somebody that they know, hey, I'm going to hook you up with this dude. He's cool. Like, they pretty much screen him for you already. Mm-hmm. Like, what would you prefer? Um, I would prefer meeting them in person. In person? Yeah. Okay. I, I mean, they're both cool, though, online and um, meeting in person. Mm-hmm. Which is different when you meet somebody in person, I feel like. It's just, yeah, like, everybody, play everybody, everybody online nowadays. And I feel <laughs> like I've dealt with a lot of people I've met online. It's just mm-hmm. different when you meet somebody in person. Okay. Tell me real quick, um, for all my guy viewers, how can how can they make their Instagram look presentable to attract a woman? What's needed? Don't post don't post your guns. <laughs> okay, so I don't no know guns. No gun, guns and guns and money? Or is money okay? Yeah, guns. But yes, definitely guns and money because guns and money is like, okay, first of all, I feel like if you have a gun, nobody should know you have a gun. Like, I'm all for protection. Have your gun, have to be whatever. Like, but I feel like 
for that reason, like, if somebody run up on you or try to take you to run into your crib, they won't, they won't know what to expect. So they don't know what to expect. So mm-hmm. I feel like a gun should not be shown on the social media. Mm-hmm. And especially if the gun is dirty. Like, why <laughs> you set you up? Why you set yourself up if you're dirty? If your money is dirty, you Dumbass. <laughs> yeah. So definitely that. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's another thing, too. Females, they, some got, some females just don't, don't be around money. So if they see a male with money, of course they're gonna want you, but they only wanna want you for that. So you want you want you want ladies to find out like what you got going on. I feel like that. Okay. I feel like that's better because then you just want to be around a bunch of people that just want you to pay your money. But that's that's my truth. That's my main truth. Don't do that. But you know, post nice pictures of you out you know, out looking nice somewhere, good places. I feel like you will attract someone someone new. Okay. Would you recommend for men not to lead with their wallet, like spending too much money on a girl right away? You think that doesn't that makes a girl not respect them? Yeah, because we don't look at you as a trick. I mean, some girls like tricks because I mean, yeah, they, like, they, they might like tricks because they're gonna get stuff out of them, but they ain't gonna sleep with them. Yeah, but they ain't gonna sleep. <laughs> very few, very few. <laughs> I didn't know what a trick was when I first had my first experience on, and I was like, "Oh, I like this," but <laughs> it gets too fast, and it's like, mm. "Hold on, wait a minute," like you know. Okay. But yeah, mm-hmm. so never leave with your wallet. Yeah. Because, I mean, it don't take a lot for somebody to like you. If you don't have to spend so much money to hang out with somebody, like, you could really go to a coffee shop and get to know somebody. It don't, you don't, it don't require money to get to know somebody at mm-hmm. all. So, I, like, men do that because they feel like they have to because of the society that they live in. But, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> and can you give me five? No, nah, we'll make it three. Give me three mistakes that guys make in the bedroom. Mm-hmm. Being selfish. Being selfish. I would say that's one mistake. Yeah, it's better when y'all both like look to take care of each other. Okay. Um. What's the second one? Not, not giving a head. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, yeah. Um, three in the bedroom. Do not do. Do not do. Mm, that's really the truth. I would say not to do. Oh, don't. I had to think about that. One. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think don't, that one. don't talk. I don't say nothing. Don't say something like what? Like, what is? I don't know. Talk to me. Talk to me. Okay. But what about Yeah, but I would talk- say, yeah. Hmm? What I about- would say don't call don't see out his out her name in okay. it. That's uh-huh. that way. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So let's see. I'm gonna need Give me three. Um, how can I just label this? All right, let's say three features that are normally people's society would say that they're red flags and it's like a toxic trait, but women still like it. Like, it could be like, man, checking up on you too much, being too insecure, being aggressive with you, putting you in your place when he doesn't, like, when you getting out of line, like, What's to- what's three toxic traits that women do like in a man? Um, yeah, let me check me. Because I feel like that's needed, but it's like, why are you doing that? But like, yeah, I would say that too. Okay. Um, another one I say that females like. I really can't think of. What about being right what about being too possessive or insecure, checking on a woman, see where she at all the time, see where she going, what she wearing? Well yeah, I, I don't like that, but I guess some girls like it because they like to be told what to do, but I don't like being told what to do. Okay. Cause I me, I like 
I don't even dress too crazy, so it's like you upset about what I'm wearing. Take me shopping or something, cause yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I don't, I don't really like being told what to do in that way. Um, being old possessive, yes. Like you telling me I can't go out with my friends and stuff. So. That, or being overprotective, I don't like that. Like for your reasons, you don't want me going out because you feel like if I go out, I'm gonna be entertaining. Every every and everybody that come to my face, then that's not always true. Okay. So that too, but I think females like that too, though. When a guy feeling like that, oh, they think it's the guy showing yeah, they, think, they, they like him and care. Yeah, and I'm like, no, sis, like you need that balance. Like that's just me, but I oh I, I would say girls like that. Um, I say what I would like that's toxic, and I know it's not good is. This, this is before when I grew up. Mm-hmm. But I felt like when a dude was just like not was playing, like not true in my face, I thought that was okay. But it's like, now that I look back at him, like maybe he wasn't either, he wasn't interested or he was just um, entertaining other people. But I, at the time I thought, I, I kind of liked that he wasn't all up over me. So he wasn't all in over me. Okay. So the fact, yeah, that, kinda, the fact that you actually had to give it a chase a little bit. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I kind of like that a little bit. So, would you say? But now, would you prefer a man mm-hmm. that don't really get women and don't have guy, don't have girls' attention, or would you want a man that is attractive and obviously other women want him? Which one would you prefer? The both. man. You said both. I feel like they both cool. Yeah, but I really like a man that's like. So you okay with a guy like that, a that only has two? He twenty four. He only been with two girls in his whole life. He really don't get chicks. Yeah, because I mean that just shows that like, but you know that's what that's what, because he might cheat thirty years later. Because then what if he had start getting cute and making money and then start fooling himself a little bit? Well, tell me so this, that could kind of be that so, could be kind of half and half. But I mean, if he was just like that, just not just I'm like okay, that's cool. Like I'm gonna teach you a few things. That's all. Like I just you don't have to probably work with you a little bit more. But yeah. that's fine. But a guy that. Um, that's attractive and also brings a lot of attention. I feel like to be with a guy like that, you have to be also confident in yourself and know that, okay. like, you know, you might get attention by other women, but, you know, okay. I'm that girl. So, yeah. Okay. So, would you prefer a guy who is sexually experienced or inexperienced? Sexually experienced with no STD. <laughs> 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 okay. Not too <laughs> but yeah. Uh, so you prefer the guy that has a higher body count? Mm. Cause I mean, he's a hoe. <laughs> but shouldn't that isn't that better for a man that a man that can get women he's experienced? Isn't that better for a woman? But I say you should be experienced, but not like not crazy. So give me a number that's too that's too high. Can, body count for a man. Have, uh, for a body count for a man. Yeah, body count for a man that's twenty eight and under. I would say ten two. I feel like keep it at ten two. Uh, how much? At ten, but twenty eight. That wait at twenty eight. Yeah, you're twenty eight years old. That's, huh? what's, that's what's probably like twenty eight, probably under twenty five, maybe. Under twenty five. Yeah, because that's a. Uh, he, I don't know. Under twenty eight, that's. Do you think it's easy, or hard. do you think it's easier or harder for a guy to get sex than a woman? Who gets sex easier? Women. Okay, you're smart with that. <laughs> so, being that it's harder for a guy to get sex, don't you think it's it speaks more highly of him if he's been with more women? Because that means he's more skilled. He's more. He has more talents and attributes that people that women like. Mm-hmm. Or you can just be everywhere. <laughs> you could be everywhere and 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 it ain't nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So, lastly, um, I have you give me what's say right now. Besides your, obviously, you're working for your your business and all the other stuff like that. What is three goals you want to reach before by 30? Um, 
I want to be okay. So by thirty, I want to be married. You want to be married? I by 30. Have, okay. Yeah, I want to be married by thirty. That's why I was saying, like, yeah, married by thirty. I want to be able to pop my kids out by thirty, so I'm financially set. So I want to be financially stable by thirty. Like that's the goal. Not that I don't know what that kind of money would look like, but enough to be able to have a home and in cars and be able to take care of two kids. Like that's my idea of um, financially set. So financially set and married, those are my two main goals. Um, and not just with me, my partner as well. Like we got to be on the same, either you're making the same as me or more than me, don't matter. Okay. But those are my two main goals. Um, that's, and then I would say another goal is to make sure my family is good. Like, okay. So you want to contrib- contribute to that? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. After everything, yeah. Okay. Those are my three goals. Uh, I mean, honestly, you are actually, you actually fall in the category. You are different. Got a lot of different answers for <laughs> you than uh, most women that I have on my show. So, Thank you. Yeah, for sure. I'll give you, I'll give you shout outs to that. <laughs> Down the Marco, Marco. <laughs> All right. Can you tell my subscribers where they can find you at, man? Let them blow your page up. Give you some clout. Yes. Come follow me at Shekinah Star. That's S-H-E-K-I-N-A-H-S-T-A-R-R. And follow me on my business page at Star Sex. And I look forward to seeing you guys there. Okay. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you again. You guys tap in with her, man. Uh, follow her. She has some good stuff on her page. Appreciate okay. you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh,